Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to this week's Monday Motivation. Motivation that has been designed especially and specifically to motivate your Monday, your morning, and even your week. So I'm Jenny Kovacs. I'm nicknamed the Queen of the Unseen because I help really busy professionals to stand out either on video, through presentations, or even through public speaking. And I've been doing this officially in this business since 2010. Can you believe it? A decade already and unofficially for a bit longer as a learning and development manager within the financial services. What a switch, eh? So um, today I thought I would um, share something that has really been quite insightful to me um, over the last few weeks, but also quite insightful um, to other people um, who are being motivated to get stuff done. So if you're watching this live and like Alan, um, you found the comments in the box, just type below and say good morning in there. Um, and if you're watching the replay and you want to say hi, again, you can still type your comments in there. Now, if you're on live and you've got questions as we're going live, it makes more sense for me to answer them as we go. So this morning, after a few weird techie stuff, <laughs> techie bits, I managed to get on. Quite a few attempts to get on, but you know what? That doesn't put me off because I've been doing Facebook Lives since they started um, for a number of years now. I remember being really excited as my American and my Australian business buddies would tell me that they had this Facebook Live thing and um, I was eagerly anticipating the arrival of it here in the UK. Now, why do I talk about that when I'm talking about um, motivation, whether it's yourself or other people for motivation? And more importantly, why is it important? So I'll take a sip of tea which is nicely called in the time that it's taken this to crank up. So, first of all, let's talk about why this is an important or could be an important topic for you. Quite often, um, people will like happily own the fact that they procrastinate, that they um, might have um, perfection paralysis, um, or might be that they stop and wait before they do something. You know, many of the people that I get to work with tell me that they've had an idea buzzing around their brain for a number of years sometimes before they take an action on it. And in our culture, in our society, we, we can be told, oh, well, you know, um, you, you just need to go for it. You just need to, you know, to do it. And that's great advice until you're the person that's kind of like stuck or maybe stopped in doing the thing that you want to do and you can't figure out why. So this morning I thought I would share um, this insight because I think it would be really handy and very helpful to know why we appear to procrastinate on something that we really want to do or why we appear to get stuck. Now sometimes um, it seems like outside circumstances. So let me give you a real life kind of live example I broadcast these at 7.30 a.m. on a Monday live. Yet this morning at 7.26, when I was playing around with the angles and the lighting, you can see the reflection of the window behind me. As I was playing around with the angles and the lighting, everything seemed fine. I went and made my tea. Um, just got my lovely plant admiring the second red flower that's coming up there. I get excited about small things like that. And as I did that, everything was great. So then I go to press live and it's not happening. The title's not staying. Then the camera won't switch. Now for many people at this point, this is where the first self and other motivation test starts. And, uh, and although this is something that affects us all in very different ways, we're all very unique, we don't always even know it exists. So at that point, you know, the Facebook Live isn't doing what I needed it to do. So I've got a frog in my throat now. <coughs> isn't doing what I needed it to do. So I have a couple of choices. I could either abandon it. Oh, well, I'll do it next week. I'll do it later. I'll do it another time. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and I could tell myself that that's procrastination. Or I can go for it and um, just keep trying until it works, which is what I do, because I've been doing these for four and a half years. Now, it's important to know whether in any given moment, in any given action, that you are motivated 
self-motivated or other motivated. And I have to start off by saying neither is good or bad, neither is right or wrong, neither is better or worse, they, they're just very different. So when we're self-motivated, we have something within us that compels us to move forward, compels us to do the thing, compels us to complete the task, compels us to achieve the goal. And in some circumstances, it's others driven. Now, I wish it was as black and white as that. If you think of it on a scale from like others and self, we can be anywhere between that sliding scale. And unlike most kind of testers, self-testers, if we work out that we're between self and others, maybe we're three quarters of the way between between the two, very loaded on what other people and or other people, how they can motivate us. That could be true for one particular task, but then for something else, we could be somewhere else on the sliding scale. So it's not that you need to work out where you are on that sliding scale and then that's it, full stop. So for example, um, I'll give this example because I am still training for the London Marathon, whether it goes ahead in October or not. Um, and, you know, think about this scenario. I am, you know, I'm not a marathon runner. I have never run a marathon, but this is something that I've wanted to do. And it's been ticking around and around in my head for a while until I kind of got sick of saying to myself, one day I'd like to run a marathon. And I just thought, let me take the first steps to do it. Let me apply in the ballot. There are people that I know that have year after year after year applied to run in the London Marathon and not got through. Yet I was able to um, apply for the ballot and this time I got through, yes. Now, here's where my other's um, motivation or my your self-motivation could kick in. So I'm running for three charities. Depending on where I am on that scale, and I haven't actually worked it out on this example, even though I'm giving an example, so that's gonna be my first action when I finish this live. Given where I am, it could be that it's, it's me, it's very myself, if I was on the self side of things, myself would be me saying, I have to run this marathon, no matter what, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, I will need to run it, regardless of what happens. And that way I can quite comfortably motivate myself to get up, to do the training, to do the training when in the rain, which I've done, to do the training in the winter when it's been freezing cold. And I've literally had gloves and pairs of socks over my hands because it's so cold. Or I could be other motivated and think this is for the people who um, I'm raising the money for, this is for the charities, this is for the spectators, this is for everyone else or I can be anywhere in between that. So regardless of the size of task, it might even be cooking dinner. It could be cooking dinner for yourself. You know, you often hear people in our society say, you know what, I don't cook that much because it's just me. If it was other people, then, you know, I'd put in a bit more effort. That in that short sentence lets you know that they're more motivated in that instance between um, or towards what other people do. So if they have a house filled with people or if they have one more person, they're likely to be motivated to make that meal um, more so than if it was just them. And again, you could be anywhere in between. It could be half and half. Don't mind either way. If it's me, I'll cook. If it's other people, I'll cook. I'm a bit like that when it comes to cooking. Now, one of the things that I've discovered when I work closely with clients is that what actually helps with that others and your self motivation is if you have the confidence to know how to do a thing or what to do underneath then you can go for it and what's also interesting is i was working with a client recently who is pretty much of a self-starter in most things they're pretty well self-motivated sometimes the other thing kicks in um, but often they're pretty self-motivated and because they're quite self-motivated they are quite good at like making time to do things. However, they hit across a stumbling block, which they didn't even realize was anything to do with them and thought it was to do with somebody else. So they've been looking at how they can, um, how they could do a thing. I don't want to obviously breach their confidence, but how they could do a specific thing. And um, they were, they were sort of, you know, doing the courses, reading all up about it. They were doing everything they could to get that thing done but they were still procrastinating. Now, 
Here's where somebody is likely to think, no, I'm very self-motivated, I'm very self-driven, it's down to me, you know, I'm the person that does this thing, blah, 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 blah. And, but they will be, you know, very determined and very, um, I'm going to do it, I'll get it done. So when they um, were reading the book or taking the course, then they became really, really worried that, well, it's really strange, you know, this book didn't work for me or this course didn't work for me because this person, you know, I, I did this thing with this person or I did this thing with this company or I did this thing with this book and it didn't really seem to work. Well, actually, in that case, they were actually other driven, so driven by somebody else, not themselves. And here's how this worked out. Um, you know, the book that they read, they read, they took in the information, they're savvy, they're intelligent, didn't quite take it in. The, the person that they worked with, from all accounts, was great at what they did, but they didn't take in everything about them. And sometimes it could be things as simple as their gender, um, you know, their background, the, you know, something about that person. So when they hit upon another method, that lined up with their self-driven motivation and the underlying confidence to get it done, then they were flying. They went through and got it done. Now, I've had to look at this throughout different areas of my life, different areas of my career, because it's really tempting for me to say, oh, but that didn't work because, you know, that person wasn't good at this or this company didn't really do what it said or how many of you have ever had a job where you've you know you've applied it's been exciting it's been juicy you've gone to do the job and then you've gone you know what this wasn't the company that I thought or this wasn't the role that I thought so that's what happens when it works well and maybe when it doesn't work so well so one of the things that I want to encourage you to do this morning like I've said straight after this video before my first coaching call is I will be looking at where you know where in this particular task like i'll look at a specific tasks so i'll look at the marathon running for example just to work out where i am on that is this something that i am propelling myself to do or is it another thing <clears throat> sorry frog in my throat so the reason why i'm i'm kind of giving you this it's it's quite a complex model but a very great model to just start dipping your toe in the water and you know appreciating yourself and analyzing yourself as to where you are on that spectrum and thank you for the love hearts it's it's nice to see that you're all out there so does this resonate with you in that do you recognize um one specific task just think of one it could be cooking dinner making tea you know decorating the house it could be um how you show up on camera i'm seeing this a lot with what i do in the visibility um thing hey lorna how are you hope everything's going okay with you um so where are you on that kind of the spectrum of motivated for yourself or motivated by others? You will slide between each and every single one of those depending on what you do, depending on what the task is. So before you start a task, it's worth, it's worth asking yourself some questions around why is this important to me? Um, and being honest with yourself, this is not something you need to share or post about on social media, um, but just being uh, doing an honest kind of inventory with yourself as to where you are on this. And here's how this will motivate you. When you know where you are on the sliding scale, if you know that you're very self-motivated, you can then plan out your time to use that self-motivation to propel you, to motivate you, to move you forward. If you're on the complete other end of the spectrum and it's all about other people, then you can use that. Let me give you an example. So last week I, I was very privileged to spend some time with a mentor that I've worked with quite extensively over the years um, in the same way that I had done when I was part of their mastermind. And I like masterminds. I am self-motivated to a point. But also the fact that I need to show up on calls, talk about what I've done, talk about what I plan to do, um, and also hear other people's um, ease of getting stuff done and struggles of getting stuff done actually is very motivational to me. So in this particular subject, on the scale of myself to the scale of others, I would be more weighted towards others. 
with a piece of myself because obviously how can anyone else hold you accountable if we can't hold ourselves accountable so for me i make better and bigger strides in that particular area because of that that you know that other piece in there so think about something that you want to do just take one kind of one piece of something that you want to do um, and think about your your reasons for doing it think about what you'll achieve once it's done will that make you feel really great or will it make you feel great that you've done something for someone else now while I talk about this it'd be remiss of me if you haven't heard the whole messages in the last few weeks of um, for those of you with a business about pivoting your businesses online and all those sorts of great things now as a visibility specialist I help businesses do this all the time they've been doing this for the last decade so one of the things that I'd invite you to do is if you are worried about putting out an online course if you're worried about being visible on video my um, 12 days to video confidence course I am resurrecting that I'd retired it last year and made it a part of the be seen Academy which covers all sorts of things from selling your services on video to present um, to presentations to um, put yourself out there to even getting your speaker bio done and dusted in 11 simple steps there are over 44 pieces in there and within there are the 12 steps to video confidence however some of you just want to crack on with the video piece you want to get your stuff out there you're not sure how some of you are confident on video but aren't sure how to convey it so there's a little bit of self and other in there so there every day there's a little task for you to do and a technique so as you go through the 12 days in fact in under two weeks you can be confident not only of being on video and in camera but know how to sell yourself but I don't say to you on day one jump in what do you do tell us what you do and how you do it I actually take you through um, a series of very proven very repeatable techniques that have had thousands literally thousands of other people be able to do their first and subsequent videos to be able to take their video confidence up or notch and for some of them they've done some phenomenal things they've ended up being in the press you know they've ended up being on on camera in places at times when they didn't think they'd be ready to and have been able to put their work out there so if that's you and you're wanting to get started with that um, you'll see a link appear here. I think it's scheduled to appear around 11 o'clock this morning. Um, but if you want to get details of how to do that now, then do send a message to this page and I will um, send you the links. You can have a look and see if it's for you. So this is a course that first ran, um, trying to think back, first ran in this format um, in 2016. And over the years, as people have gone through it and successfully gone on to do their own videos and teach other people. But these, some of these people are people that would never have dared do video. They've gone through the 12 days, they've gone through the programme and now they're helping other people and their own clients to be out there on camera and confident on camera. And why not take a look? I'd love to see you in there. But the most important step that you need to take after this live, um, if you've only seen a bit of it, it will be recorded so you can go back and watch the replay, is to work out on the thing that you want to do, are you more self-motivated? So is it yourself that motivates you? Are you more motivated by others and getting results for others, showing up for others, maybe making a difference to others? Um, it could even be the applause of others that drives you or are you somewhere in between? This alone will help to motivate you so you won't feel like you're procrastinating, you won't feel like you're putting it off, you won't feel like, oh my gosh, here we go again, why can I never get this finished or done? So um, I look forward to seeing you shine and of course if you're in the um, Visibility Vibes Tribe group, just go in there and um, let, let us know, share with us. If you're others motivated, share with us and let us know what you're looking at for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I look forward to seeing what you do with this motivational tip this week. Bye for now.